Hey guys, I'm Eric Peterson and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for skillofattraction.com and today's coaching video is called Do Not Wait for Women. And when I say do not wait for women, what I, I'm not referring to like if you're going into a concert or something like that, you get let in first and she's still going through security and you just pew, take off. I do not mean that. What I'm talking about is when she's undecided and things of that nature. And in this email, this is from a viewer, and he was in a relationship for five years with his girl. And one day she told him that she wasn't in love with him anymore. And so he tried to get her back for a couple months and... He had a little progress, but for the most part, he's kind of waiting around for her to see what she decides. And obviously, it's driving him crazy. So before we get into this, I just wanted to say that if you find this video helpful or any of my videos helpful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and for you to share it with any of your friends and family who may also find it helpful. And I would also really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button down below and tick that little bell symbol that's next to it so you get real-time notifications of when I upload new videos. And if you guys have any questions, whether it be about my videos or you're having issues in your own relationship, please feel free to shoot me an email. To do that, all you have to do is head over to my website at skillofattraction.com, click on the contact tab, and send me a message from there. All that I ask is that you keep your messages rather short and concise. Just stick to the important parts. I just don't have time to read through some of those long emails that I've been getting lately. And also, please check your punctuation and your spelling. It's really difficult for me to get through some of these emails where it's just like one continuous run on sentence with no apostrophes, no commas, no nothing, and misspell words, it's really difficult to get through. So please keep that in mind. But I do have to take care of my paying clients first before I get back to you. So you just have to be a little patient, but I will get back to you as soon as I can. But if you need to talk to me right away, the best way to do that is again head to my website at skillofattraction.com, click on the coaching tab, and there I have several options for you to choose from. I offer both emergency email coaching and I offer monthly coaching where I will work with you throughout the month. So with that in mind, let's get on to the video. Oh, and I will include the links to both my contact page and my coaching page in the description down below. So let's get on to this email. He says, me and my ex of five years broke up. I caught her on Tinder and said I couldn't trust her. And she said she wasn't in love with me anymore. Oof, that's a rough way to find that out. He says, I tried to get her back for two months. And one time we had sex and I asked for her back. She told me no and that she wants to see other people. Well, hopefully now you know that trying to get an ex back doesn't work. They have to want to get back together. And ideally, it should really be her idea since she was the one who ended things. However, if you're dropping the ball in the relationship, like you really didn't include why she fell out of love with you, or maybe you don't know. But like if you're dropping the ball in the relationship, such as maybe you got a little lazy you're taking her for granted or maybe you became a little too needy and clingy and controlling it's really your responsibility to you know right those wrongs i mean if you want to get back together with her and you don't want to sit around and wait you want to start on this right away because so many people come to me wanting uh, the magic bullet uh, the magic phrase to say to someone or or to do something that's gonna magically attract them back overnight. And it really doesn't work like work that way. You have to start doing the work right now because there have been other times where I have helped people and they didn't do the work and their ex started reaching out to them again and they realized, hey, this is the same guy 
that I broke up with and nothing has changed and I am still not in love with him. So get on it right away. But um, one thing I wanted to point out here is you never want to ask a girl for a relationship or to get back together. I mean, relationships is really her job. That's feminine energy. And as a man, you really have to re-attract her and ultimately seduce her to the point where she wants to have a relationship with you again. And when she gets to that point, she will bring it up in some way, shape, or form. He continues here. She would message me a lot of times, and when we would see each other, it was like we was together. That's because she misses you, and she still has feelings for you to some degree. But then again, you two were together for, what, five years? And for even someone, for even the dumper, I mean, to walk away from a five-year relationship, I mean, that's going to be super difficult for her, too. He continues, again, she would contact me, but when I tried to see her, she wouldn't set a date to see me. Well, that's because she's confused. I mean, she misses you, yet she still feels like mm, something's missing here. He says, I ended up saying I don't want to be friends. She got mad and blocked me. Well, good. You should never agree to friendship unless you want to be friends with her only. But she likely got mad and blocked you because she was hoping to keep you as a backup plan. I mean, it's not so much a conscious decision on her part. I mean, for most of the time it isn't. But, you know, maybe she hasn't fully made up her mind about you yet. Or maybe she's afraid that maybe she made a mistake about breaking up with you. And she's still kind of on the fence about that. So what she wants to do is kind of keep you on backup until she figures it all out. She, so in other words, really, she, she's not really completely ready to let you go, but she doesn't really want to get back in a relationship with you either because she's still a little undecided. And by you saying no to being friends, I mean, you pretty much foiled her whole plan there. So yeah, she got upset and she probably blocked you just out of an immature action. She was like, well, fine, then I'm going to block him. He continues here. I told her why you blocked me. I thought you cared. If you want to leave, can at least tell me. Um, see, this is what I mean by, you know, checking for punctuation, spelling. Make sure you have real sentences here. I think what he means to say is, I asked her... Why did you block me? Because I thought you cared. If you want to leave, can you at least tell me? She said that she does. She is just pretty sad. I said, I'm sad too, but I'll be more sad if you just leave. Can you just tell me, and you could go, and that all I'm asking for, if you ever want to catch up and see how things go, we can. If you want to go away, then you can just tell me and you could go. She said she would always want to catch up with me, and then she went cold. So, in other words, really what she's doing is she's still trying to be friends. She's still trying to keep that door open. You know, well, maybe I'll call you if I want to catch up. So... Despite you telling her you don't want to be friends, she's just kind of coming at you from a different angle, you know, trying to slip under the radar and still leave a door open for a way to be in contact with you and keep you as a backup plan, just in case. He says, it's been three weeks now, so my question is, will she come back and how can I develop attraction? Well... To answer your question, I mean, more than likely, you will be hearing from her again sometime in the future. I can't say 100% for sure, and I can't say exactly when. I mean, no one can predict, predict anyone's emotions. It could be a couple days, maybe a couple weeks, maybe even a couple months. So you really don't know for sure. But, I mean, like I mentioned before, it's not going to be easy for her to walk away from a five-year relationship. I mean, even if she was completely out of love with you, I mean, she's attached to you emotionally, whether 
she thought about that or not. But in order to reattract her, you need to start acting like a man of value. I mean, you did somewhat by saying no to friendship, but you also tried getting her back for two months. And you're also looking to her to lead the way between the two of you by waiting around for her to make a decision. Now, just so you know, this is a really easy trap for men to fall into and probably for women to fall into. I mean, basically your girl, she ends things or she isn't sure about the future of the relationship. So you could just kind of hang back and wait for her to make a decision. And all the while, you're just like in this emotional anxiety filled torture that's driving you up the wall. And it's really a terrible place to be in. And, and sadly, you probably aren't going to be getting anywhere with her as long as you continue waiting on her. I know it seems like the logical thing to do, but the reason why is because you're not taking the lead here. And I mean, as a man, this is what you have to do. I mean, no, you can't force her to be in a relationship with you, but as long as she knows that you are there as a backup, I mean, she's really never going to respect you. And she will never love you again or have attraction for you again if she doesn't have respect for you. So I know this is not what you want to hear, and it's super difficult to do this, but you have to start moving on and letting her go because you really don't have any other options right now. She knows that you're interested in getting back together with her. She has told you that she's not interested right now. She wants to see other people. So the best thing you could do is for yourself is to start moving on and letting her go. It's going to be painful, but it's going to be a lot less painful than you sitting around waiting for her. And like I said, you're probably not going to get anywhere with her by waiting around. But when or if you do hear from her again, like I said, I can't say 100% for sure if she's going to be getting in touch with you, but I have a feeling that she will sometime in the future. So if and when you do hear from her again, after the usual pleasantries, you know, like, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. How have you been? You want to get right to the point and tell her that you would like to see her and ask her when she's free. Now, if she's not interested, you just want to politely accept her decision and tell her to get in touch with you if she changes her mind. And from there, you just continue moving forward and moving on with your life. Because again, if you sit around and wait, you're going to be just in emotional pain and it's going to drive you absolutely up the wall. However, if she does accept your invite, which can happen, I was just talking to a, a client today and he thought that his girl would never contact him again. She blocked him on everything. Well, guess what? She contacted him, told him how she misses his sexy smile. And I told him to ask her when she's free and now they have a date. We'll see what happens from there, but it can happen. So if she does accept your invite, you simply just want to make a date with her. And I mean, it's best that you have her come to you. I mean, she, after all, she did break up with you. So you want to see a little effort from her. And I'm sure some of you guys have heard this before, but you, the best way to do this is to invite her over to your place for dinner and have her bring something in order for her to you know, add a little something to this, put in a little effort. And what I mean by this is have her bring like a bottle of wine, maybe some tea, maybe have her make a salad and bring that. I mean, this is all part of, you know, insisting that she puts in some kind of effort without actually saying it in order to win you back. It's not you winning her back. And just one thing that, I mean, it's very important. You do not want to talk about the relationship or getting back together unless she brings it up. But she, there's a good chance that she won't. And you do not want to bring it up. You don't want to rush this process. I mean, basically, you just want to focus on having fun with her and gently leading things into the bedroom. I mean, 
basically you want to re seduce her and re attract her and really the best way to do this is to assume or treat her like she's a brand new girl that you just started dating essentially you're starting all over again but the thing is since you've been together for five years it's going to move faster than than a typical girl that you just started dating but you want to take it really slow because you don't want to do any giant scary movements that's going to scare her away just take it slow just focus on having fun with her and um, let her bring up any kind of relationship talk and really handling it this way communicates your emotional strength and your self-respect and both of these qualities women just find irresistible in men because I mean it conveys your your value your high value and that is going to increase her attraction for you again she's going to be thinking theoretically she's going to be thinking you know wow I, I made a huge mistake here this this guy is great what was I thinking I mean I'm making it sound much easier than it really is I mean this is going to take a lot of strength on your part you have to be strong because just remember if you start chasing her again she's just gonna run away I actually just did a video on this not too long ago called if you chase women they will run so just take it slow take it day by day let her reach out to you when she reaches out to you you make a date simple as that so that's it for this video I really appreciate all of you that have watched it to the end and if you guys have found this video of value also in the description down below I have a link to PayPal if you would like to make a donation and it could be a donation for any amount I would really appreciate that so I will catch you guys on the next video have a good one bye bye